you can see now what happens with the gray lines the cutter starts at this corner it goes down it machines here is a part of the oh, here's part of the bottle etc etc when that's finished it goes again to the start makes a second layer goes up a bit and then says hey i've been here or i've been here already i've done this already i can go up travel over the part that has been machined already in rapid that's the gray dashed line go down again and proceed which is obviously not the most efficient method machine here machine there machine here machine there with much traveling around so for roughing in many cases i select a different uh, strategy back to the roughing parameters strategy and i select block so i come from the outside move in and a second advantage is that the chips that are produced can easily fall off the material so less positioning moves here this is my roughing situation let me zoom in very quickly to one corner and here I see yes I have a fourth layer which is obviously not very efficient so three times five millimeter just doesn't cover the complete height of my part so I'll quickly change that go to roughing and make it for instance 5.2 millimeters and now three layers is sufficient to machine my complete part for the roughing okay that was the roughing I now go to finishing here I again select the same cutter a three millimeter bull nose I now make very smooth so dot 18 millimeters distance and step size I again machine toolpath and here's a very red picture I will switch off so my uh, turning off the light bulb may, means making it invisible now I only have the finishing operation and as you can see it's very many toolpath one last thing that I want to do is skip this ambient area that material has been removed already so there's no sense in also machining those flat areas uh, while finishing again to the finishing parameters movement no it's in advanced as said the area ar around is called the ambient and I can tell this router to skip the extra ambient I do not want to skip the vertical surfaces only the horizontal surfaces I say OK it calculates again and here are my finishing tool path which of course makes it more efficient okay for some fine tuning I can again add a last operation because here you can see the staircase effect at best uh, the staircase effect of my parallel tool path or in fact I can see it best around here so the here staircases between the tool path will be visible where the surfaces are almost vertical and when I add one more operation with a th smoothing contour around that will make the result even better so I add a third operation I call that a contour I oh, select the same cutter again the three millimeter bull nose and for strategy I say contour only yes oh I forgot to set the accuracy again also this one calculate the toolpath yes that costs a bit more time as the smoothing contour will be made very smoothly and then you can see that one extra toolpath at minimum Z level has been added here and that will improve the quality of uh, the resulting part so here as a result I've created one project with three different operations a roughing operation finishing operation and finally the contour only when I say save and see file it will combine all three in one 
combined and C program file that can be sent to the milling machine. I hope that has given you some ideas about roughing and finishing and anyway has taught you how to use those ideas in a Desproto project. Project, thanks for listening.